the ISA-1 Digital, the Classic Focusrite Mic Pre and Simultaneous DI. Now with class-leading stereo ADC as standard. MyTech are celebrating their first anniversary and they've launched a new Mic Pre at the same time and uh, here to tell us all about it is uh, Michael Ketchell. Thank you, you. I really appreciate you stopping by, talking to us. Yeah, it's our MPA-201 microphone preamplifier. Um, it's a two-channel Class A discrete transistor preamp. It's based around one of the most famous legendary circuits, the 1272, which people know from inside the Neve 1073 module. It was never really a preamp, but we've used it to make preamps uh, a lot of other people have. So, what we've done differently on ours, first of all, we'll take a look at the features going right across. We have 70 dB of gain, and then we have a variable impedance so you can use it with old ribbon microphones, or you can just use it as another way to tone color any microphone. Sure. Um, then what, what I think is very important that I feel is missing on a lot of preamps is a really good high pass filter. So we have a great variable high pass filter. It's from 30 all the way up to 350 hertz. So it's great on drums, vocals, even like acoustic instruments like a mandolin, you can take it all the way up to 350 hertz. Sure. We have really, really nice, uh, we have output control of course, we have nice metering. We actually have a VU meter that you can see the input and the output level on, but we also have a digital peak meter so you know when you're at absolute digital clip. And that can be cal calibrated for either plus 18 or plus 22 dB depending on how your converters are set up. Sure. So what's great about it, it's very, very fast. It's kind of like a traffic light. You have a safe, a getting caught, you know, be cautious, and then yeah. bread is definitely digital clip. That's one feature that we got talking to a lot of engineers in our hometown, Nashville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. which is a fantastic resource, and <clears throat> it sounds incredible. We also have a, what we, we're, we're actually going to call in the final version a smooth switch, which is really what is, uh, emulates what happens when people took the module out of the console or how it was when it lived in the console. When it lived in the console, it was terminated with a resistor at the patch base, so it was loaded slightly different. When we pulled it out, it had a different sound, which we liked, but it was, is, uh, it, there's actually some excitement in the top end when you yes. hit it with a lot of bandwidth. So what the smooth switch does is it rolls that off and makes it smooth again like it was in the console. Okay. So you have both voices there. The other thing that's really exciting for us at AES here we basically built this with the famous transformers that everybody knows that's been used in every recreation. Mm -hmm. But we bought two channels and we bought another channel with us that has our own custom designed transformers from AMI right. in the United States. And we, for the last two days of the show, we've been asking people to come in and take the challenge of cho you know, choosing between A and B. And I'm very happy and excited to report that everybody picked the channel with our own transformers in it. Fantastic. So it's a really different sound. It's a little bit fatter, a little bit beefier, we say. And it's just fantastic sound. And we brought it around to some key guys in Nashville, and they really, really love the sound of it. It's got a map price in the USA of $1,499. So it's very, very affordable. We think it's a very beautiful looking unit. And it'll be available for shipping in January. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Thank Michael. you very much. Appreciate Thanks. it.